What's going on everybody? Today we have the Civivi Fracture Tonto. Just got it in today. So let's take a look and see what we got. Should probably use a knife for this, huh? Just a first look. See what we got here. Stiff, brand new stiff. That's not bad. I'm not a big slip joint knife guy myself, but that's a Pretty comfortable knife. Got the old walk and talk there. Very pronounced. Not a lot of branding. This is a overall seven and three quarters inch long. Let's get the package in out of the way here. So it's seven three quarters inch. So this is long. Uh, a little over three and a quarter inches in the blade. Blade width, this says one inch. Yeah, I guess that's close to one inch. <laughs> Bead blast stone washed. And that's pretty good. You know, it's not too bad. Blade material is 8CR14 MOV. Not a terrible steel, not a fabulous one, but I mean, you know, you're talking about a $28 knife. I mean, you're not, <laughs> you're not really talking about a extremely expensive knife by any means. Let's take a look at it with the Spydeco Paramilitary 2 Tonto. Um, oh, you know, they're, they're getting close to the, almost close in the same length, but you know, obviously. But, yeah, not a bad little knife. I mean, it's like I said, you know, it, you can certainly hear it's some pretty much pronounced things. And a pocket clip can go left or right handed, tip up. So that's cool. Little lanyard if you so desire. And you know, and of course right now it came with a lanyard from you know, this is a Civivi Wii lanyard. If you order a Civivi or a Wii knife right now, they give you that for free. So it's a little stiff to try to open with your thumb. It's really kind of a two-hander, but blade is nice and sharp all the way down. Nice pointy, very pointy tip on it. Nice fine tip. Not extremely thick. Let's, uh, you know, compared to the Paramilitary, you know, slightly, slightly thinner. It's going to be a, a lot more of a slicer, that's for sure. I mean, you know, there's no, uh, no thumb studs or anything to get in the way of you slicing through stuff. So if you, I don't know, if you like a slip joint, you know, it's not too bad. It's got a nice Tonto tip on there. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that's meant to be for your thumb. <laughs> you know, the knife is kind of small to really get a, you know, and it's, it's brand new, so it's still really stiff too. 
but the action's good, you know, if you, so, you know, if you're into a knife like this, I mean, but, yeah, it, you know, they come in, you know, blue, red, gray, green, black, you know, you can get them, and it also comes in a, uh, let's see, yeah, it comes in a drop point or a tanto. You know, they're all going to be pretty much identical, you know. Yeah, they're all pretty much identical except for the tip. I mean, other than that, this is all the same. The handle's all the same. Everything else is the same. It's a nice deep pocket clip, too. I mean, it's going to sit really low in your pocket when you, when you put it on. The screws are all flush mounted, so that's good. So you're not going to have any inter interference with your putting in your pants, you know. And let's be honest, I mean, you know, a knife like this, you know, legality-wise, it's going to be pretty much legal everywhere because it's not lockable, it's not assisted, it's, you know, it's a slip joint, you know, just like your old school knives, you know, the blade length, you know, even the blade length in a lot of states is still going to be le more legal, even though it's typically longer like in Europe I mean you're allowed to go over you over three inches but if you as long as it's not locking if it's locking then you has to be under like two and a half inches <laughs> something like that so you know legality wise a knife like this I mean it's non-threatening even with even with a tanto tip it's you know no one's really threatened by it you know it's not like you're gonna just whoosh, whack it out, you know, and just, there you go, I'm going to cut somebody, or, you know, this is a good, just overall working knife for, you know, doing your everyday task, you know, if you need a knife, or, you know, even if you don't need a knife, I mean, it has a very small footprint, you know, compared to the PM2, I mean, if you kind of line them up, you know, it's going to take up a lot less of a footprint, it's not going to have much of a footprint at all compared to the paramilitary. So it's gonna, and it's gonna sit deep in your pocket. So more than likely, nobody gonna even notice you even have it in your pocket anyway, to begin with, so. But anyway, that's a first look at it, just brand new. You know, we'll take it out and we'll carry it and we'll, we'll work the blade a little and see how she, how she breaks in and if she breaks or whatever happens, happens and put her through some cutting task and some carrying and we'll see what she does. But if you're interested, you know, like I said, I mean, these are give or take like $28. Yeah, you know, I got it, for, I got mine from Blade HQ for $28. So, and it, you know, came with a free lanyard. I don't typically use them that much, but you know, 28 bucks, not bad, little, little knife. You know, Civivi does good work. The G10 scales, they're nice. They're grippy, but not overly grippy where they're gonna tear up your pockets or anything when you're putting in and out of your pocket or... So, well, that's it, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, and subscribe. You know, we got a lot more coming to you here soon. So, hope you enjoyed this. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.